Welcome friends and family. May I please ask your phone stay on silent, thank you. First, I'd like to begin by welcoming everyone and thanking each and every one of you for being here on the most happy of days. It's no accident that each of you are here today and each of you were invited to be here because you represent someone important in the individual and collective lives of Brad and Cindy. I truly can't think of a better location than by the ocean for an occasion that I know is not only monumental for the wedded couple to be, but for all of us who are lucky to know and love them as individuals, but even more so as a perfect pairing. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes your world a beautiful and magical place. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. For Cindy, that happened about nine years ago when we met. <laughs> she is my champ, partner in crime, and best friend. However, during the past nine years, we have traveled the world and created so many wonderful memories. Each trip is one that I truly cherish. I know with all these amazing trips and memories that we have created, it has made Brad a pretty lucky guy too. Why, are you asking? Well, he gets to share such a wonderful friendship with me too. <laughs> I know how deeply these two care for and love one another, and I feel privileged to be here today among all of you as a witness of their commitment to a lifetime of love for one another. I think I've had the good fortune to meet most of you here today at some point or another. But for those of you whom I haven't met, my name is Kelly. I am one of Brad and Cindy's closest friends. I have had the privilege to work alongside Cindy for nearly nine years. She is more than just a coworker. She is my family and my dearest friend. Now Brad and Cindy have asked that I keep this speech short, classy, family friendly, and politely asked me to leave out stories that are unflattering to either of them. So I won't discuss what happened on that one trip. There are lots of those stories that we could talk about, but I guess you would have to be there. So let's move on. As a third party spectator to their developing love, it was extremely clear that the two of them represent a perfect pairing because each of them complements the other so well. They balance one another. And while each of them are tremendous individuals on their own, together they are even better. And being better together as a team, a unit and partners in crime is what has been many years in the making and ultimately leads us to being here today, witnessing their commitment to one another in front of those they love most. I wish I could tell you a single story about Brad and Cindy that summarizes their relationship and how they enrich each other's lives, the lives of each of us, but the truth is there isn't one single event that is a good encapsulation of what they mean to me, to each other, and to all of us. But what I do know is that both of them care deeply and passionately for each other. They protect each other. They make each other laugh and think outside themselves. That time magically seems to both fly and slow down when they're together. They help each other in ways that are obvious and unnoticed, but always appreciated. I also know that it's not just anyone with whom you can have a communication with. It can simply be a look or trying to remember where Bradford has left the screwdriver when doing his chores around their house 
Or when Cinderella has a surprise Amazon package being delivered to the door. Or even just to say, I'm sorry, every time it's warranted, eventually. They do that for and with each other. But it's also my personal experience with Brad and Cindy that highlight the quality of their love. It doesn't matter if I'm with them in person or simply in a silly group text with them. When I am engaging with Brad and Cindy, I am always enjoying myself. I am certain that's part of what makes them so special to each of us. How happy and content we feel when we are with them. And what I wish for them on their wedding day is that their lifetime together as a team is one, one of complete contentment. Full of those moments that they wish would never end and that they continue to make one another smile and laugh as they do as they make each of us do. So without further ado, dearly beloved and honored guests, we are gathered here to join Brad and Cindy in the union of marriage. This contract is not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously. And with deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. The bride and groom have each prepared their vows and will now read them. Cindy, if you would share your vows with Brad. Since the day we met, I knew you were a special man. Dang it. Sorry. And even though you wanted to share my tequila, I knew that we can overcome that small misunderstanding. <laughs> uh, from that day forward, I became a true believer that you do not find true love, but true love finds you. You have always loved me without reservations. You praise me in a way that I've never thought possible. And because of you, I have become the best woman and mother I can be. <sighs> Sorry. I cannot promise I will always be the perfect wife, but I promise to love you always unconditionally and without boundaries. I promise to always be your biggest fan and your best friend. I promise to remember you are not, that we are not perfect, but only perfect for each other. Thank you for being the man of my dreams. Everything in me recognizes you're my heart, my home, and your arms, my shelter. I will love, honor you, respect you, and cherish you. Not because I have to, because I get to. <sighs> Sorry. I love the way that you're always ready to dance. <laughs> I love that you always push my eyebrows apart when we're in a serious conversation. <laughs> I love that you kiss me every night before bed and wish me sweet dreams. I promise to listen to you when you speak, even though I don't agree. I promise to grow old beside you but also promise never to grow old. I choose you and I'll choose you over and over and over again, without a doubt. Falling in love with you was not falling at all. It was walking into a house and knowing that you're my home. I love you today and all the days of my life. Brad, would you share your vows with Cindy? Yeah. Well, well, wait a minute. Here. Yeah. You still have to say them. <laughs> oh, it, is it working? Uh, can you hear me back there? You know, I am a man of few words, and I wanted to say that I love you. Wait a minute. I got some more here. <laughs> I memorized it. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's all gone. <laughs> <sighs>
and I don't want to blow this. I love you. You are my best friend. My playmate, my confidant, I promise to encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you and comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. You are the love of my life and you make me happier than I ever imagined possible. More love than ever possible. You've made me a better person. I promise to love you in good times and bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard. I promise to cherish you and always hold you in the highest regard. I am truly blessed to be a part of your life, which as of today becomes our life together. <laughs> Even when you steal my pillow. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. <laughs> And now, Brad, do you take Cindy to be your wife? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others, and holding only unto her forevermore? I do. And Cindy, do you take Brad to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others, and holding only unto him forevermore? I do. Brad and Cindy will now exchange rings as a symbol of love and commitment to each other. Rings are a precious metal. They are also made precious by you wearing them. Your wedding rings are special. They enhance who you are. They mark the beginning of your long journey together. Your wedding ring is a circle, a symbol of love never ending. It is a seal of the vows you have just taken to love each other without end. Cindy, please place this ring on Brad's left hand and repeat after me. As a sign of my love, as a sign of my love, that I have chosen you, that I have chosen you, above all else, above all else, with this ring with I this be wed. I would be wed. And Brad, Place this ring on Cindy's left hand and repeat after me. As a sign of my love. No, that's not Sorry. <laughs> left hand. Left hand. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. <laughs> that I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. Above all else. Above all else. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. The couple has just sealed their relationship with the exchange of vows and giving and receiving of rings. Today, their relationship is further symbolized by the tying of a knot. Now, Gary, this knot, if they can't do it, they have to tie a lot, correct? <laughs> Got it. Today, their relationship is further symbolized by the tying of a knot, a true lover's knot. For it is the strongest there is. The bond will not break, becoming ever stronger under pressure. These two cords represent each of you as individuals, as the unique and special gifts you bring to your marriage as you fasten your pieces together these actions represent the joining of your two lives into a common purpose. The completed knot represents your future. Secure in the knowledge, your relationship will continue to be strong despite the inevitable changes your life brings. Let this knot indicate the strength of your love and be a symbol of your unity from this day forward. In the book of Proverbs 30, 18 and 19, it is stated, there are three things that amaze me. No, four things that I don't understand. How an eagle glides through the sky, how a snake slithers on a rock, how a ship navigates the ocean, and how a man loves a woman. 
To make your relationship work, it will take love. Continue to date each other. Take time to, to show each other that your love and marriage grow stronger with time. It will take trust to know that in your hearts you truly want what's best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open to one another and to learn and grow together. It will take loyalty to go forward together without knowing exactly what the future brings. And it will take commitment to hold true to the journey you have both pledged today. And now, by the power vested in me by the state of California, it is my honor and delight to declare you both husband and wife. Go forth and live each day to the fullest. Brad, you may kiss your wife. I'm so honored and delighted to present the newlyweds, Mr. and Ms. Brad and Cindy Card. Pobre. Oh, 